Hello my beautiful angels and welcome back to another video. If you're new then hello, my name is Amy Rose or Amy, whatever you want to call me and I upload four times a week. Am I right? <laughs> I love it, I love it so so much. Although I didn't upload on Monday because, you know, I explained on my Instagram but yeah. Anyway, so today's look I really wanted to film a glowy Valentine's Day makeup look. Look at that. Oh my god, love it. I was going to do a typical red lip and I also was going to do a pinky makeup look. I even got my sort of pink palettes out and I was like, yes, I'll do it. But I realised my last two makeup videos that I filmed for you guys are pink makeup looks. And I was like, ugh. It doesn't really work out, does it? <laughs> Should have thought that one through, but oh well. I thought, you know what? I've never done like a glowy Valentine's Day makeup look and this is probably something I'm really gonna wear a lot at the moment i love it i know i filmed this video a bit earlier than usual for valentine's day but i was also thinking so basically in the video there is one certain brand that i use and this video isn't sponsored but it looks like it's sponsored but it's not because when you think of glow well, when i think of glow there's just one certain brand that i think of and that's basically what i've used on my face today most of their products so i was like thinking throughout the video or oh, people are not going to be happy with me and also it's not the most affordable brand ever so write in the comments down below if you did want me to film a drugstore valentine's day makeup look and i can film with you guys this week um i could do a whole different look if you guys want me to more of like a pinky one or a red lip or whatever you want just let me know because I would love to film that but because I know that this video isn't going to be the most affordable although some products I use have been but yeah you'll know what you mean when you watch the video so if you'd like to see how I created this makeup look oh my god look at this glow uh, I love it so much then please keep watching so like always my brows are done and dusted I am now going to move on to foundation so for this look I really really want it to be quite dewy and glowy. It's kind of my dewy and glowy. I'm not a big fan of complete dew. I have to have powder because I feel like it sets my makeup in place and I can always add glow, put it on underneath, add it afterwards, all of that kind of stuff. So I'm going to use kind of loads of glowy products in today's video and I'm really excited for it. I can't wait. So the first product I'm going to use, this is the Iconic London Prep Setting Glow. You can prep your skin with it, you can set it and it glows it. So this is in the shade Original. Look how pretty. So I'm just going to close my eyes and set my whole face and my neck. I have moisturised already by the way. They smell so good. The smell reminds me of summer because this one, look how much I've used. This is the shade Glow, I think. Um, how pretty is that? I used all of that this summer. It was such a nice colour for your body. It just, oh, it's so nice. I love these so much. But now I've got more paler skin. I'm using this one a lot more at the moment and I love it. So there's a nice base to work with my skin. It looks really glowy and I'm happy about it. My hair, I haven't brushed it out yet since I curled it, so it's kind of got a mind of its own. We'll just leave that there. So foundation, I am gonna, oh God, drop it on the floor. I am gonna use these two. So this is the Iconic London Pigment Stick in the shade 2.1. Mixed with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in the shade Golden Beige. These two together are so lovely. I like to just apply this on my face and then use this afterwards as well. Um, I will use the Vanity Planet Foundation Brush to apply this. This you just put it on with your skin and then I'm going to blend both of them with the flat top stippling brush my same brush set which I love. It's so, oh, I love it so much and it just blends it so nicely so... I never really use primer, I only let, I don't really use it. I think if I remember, and I'm not, okay, I'll use primer today, but I like my skin to sort of breathe, so I don't really use it that much. Okay, I'm 
I'm just gonna apply some lip balm. This one's from, it's a Vaseline Lip Therapy. It's like got cocoa butter and it's so nice. And moisturizing on your lips. I literally love it. Okay, so, 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 so. I'm gonna move on to concealer. I've been really, really loving this one at the moment. I think I used it in my last video, my makeup one. I'm trying to think what that was, I can't remember. Um, this is the BH Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. I use the shade 104. I think that's what it is, but it's really, really good. I feel like it's a dupe for the Huda one. I literally pop a little bit there and then it just blends out so nicely the color of this is so similar to my maybelline fit me squeeze a bit more and then we're going to use a damp beauty blender by damp i literally just get a makeup wipe them you know <laughs> and i'm just gonna blend that in obviously inside in I know I repeat myself a lot, but for people that have just clicked on this video and you're new, hello, welcome to my channel, and this is what I like to do, I like to go outside and push in, because it really helps the concealer stick to like the middle part of my eye, which is what I prefer, you might not, but I feel like you don't want to move the concealer all over your face. I'm gonna use this is what I've been really loving at the moment it's the revolution luxury powder in the shade banana I use this to set my concealer and then I'll go in with my other powder from benefit after but you just sort of push the creases I always get really bad creases under here so I push them up like that and I use this iconic London brush it's perfect for this and you sort of just really lightly dab it on powder the powder is loose so it is super messy bear that in mind the actual product is really good i just wish loose powders had like a pot or something where it wasn't as messy but i feel like that's kind of impossible <laughs> so just go around i go here on my smile lines because as you can see it's a lot finer than other powders that i'm going to use so it gets really gets in there you know what i mean it's really buildable we can build it up but just do really light layers at a time for my favourite powder, we're going to use the Benefit Hello Flawless. I use the shade Beige because it does oxidise a little bit, which means it gets darker as you apply it and more oxygen gets to it. But the actual product itself is so good. And I have mentioned before, but if you haven't been here, then this is my favourite brush to apply it with. It literally packs it on. Oh, it's ideal. Your makeup is not going to move. Especially around my nose because that's where it comes off the most. <gasps> so annoying. So what are you angels up to on Valentine's Day? Let me know in the comments. I don't even know what me and Bradley are doing. I have no idea. I think we'll probably just go for dinner or something. We've got a um, gift voucher to go to the Ivy from Jessie, my bestie from Christmas. So we were like, oh, should we just save it to go then? Because it's in like two weeks. To be fair though, I do feel like I'm filming this video quite early compared to what I'd usually do for Valentine's. I feel like I'm normally like the day before. So, do you know when you like see something in your brow and you're like, oh, should have done that. <sighs> yeah, probably made that worse, but okay, leave it, leave. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we might go there. But it's annoying that it's on like, I think it's a Thursday. Hey Siri. <coughs> What day is Valentine's Day on? Valentine's Day is on Thursday, the 14th of February, 2019. Yeah, it's on a Thursday. Cheers, sir. Um, so I think we'll probably go for dinner that night. Probably need to book it. Oh my God, I just thought about that. Probably gonna be packed. And then where will we go somewhere in the weekend? I don't know. This is definitely a look that I'll be doing for Valentine's Day anyway, which is all exciting. I love playing around with loads of different makeup, but I'm, a sucker for like glowy makeup. I feel like that's just my vibe. Okay, what should we use for powder? What oh, I mean contour powder. Let's use the NYX. A golden oldie. This is the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I think it's like 18 pounds or something and it will last you forever. I mix these three shades together um, and the reason I love this so much, I feel like it's such a versatile palette. It's really good when you go traveling because you've got a highlighter here, a couple more um, powders, and then you've got loads of different shades. So like, say if you're going on holiday and your colour changes, this is ideal because the more tans you get, obviously you can use the darker one, 
depending on if you wear makeup as well but like it's just ideal and this is my favorite brush to apply um bronzer with it's quick and easy i feel like if i'm having more of a structured look i'll use this but i just use this on an everyday basis and it works well for me and it's really easy look oh my god i've just brushed my hair because it was like a massive knot at the back and it's gone all flat i don't know what's happening to my hair at the moment it's literally like no don't know what's happening but hey ho let's just leave that oh my god i was brush i was doing my contour and i was like oh my god why does it look like i've got a bird's nest on the back of my head so annoying i do get tape hair extensions but i've had my third refit and they advise three refits and then changing the hair I feel like this hair's gone now like it's so much shorter as well after your third refit because it gets shorter is it I don't know but I'm so excited for my new one near my birthday as well so it's gonna be good okay for eyes I think oh drop my concealer on the floor I think I'm gonna use this this is the iconic London eyeshadow palette it looks like this it's so beautiful um and it's kind of the shades that i want to use there's a lot of like taupey colors gold it's nothing too extreme and i think that's ideal for valentine's i was going to do pink but i've done a couple of pink looks at the moment um and i feel like i don't know i feel like if you guys want a pink look then i will least least list those videos in the description box down below for you but it would be exactly the same and I thought there's no point. So I'm going to do a glowy look for Valentine's Day because I feel like this is what I'm going to do. So I've set my eyes with the powder beforehand. I'm going to use the top to top shade here. Yeah. <laughs> and use this in my crease. Oh, mixing with the shade Ultimate Tan. Let's mix these two together. I just want to create like a gold, you know, glowy makeup look. I feel like that is going to work nice me with the same colors i'm gonna put that on my lower lash line we're now going to use the shade deep soul which is this brown color here and we're gonna put this on the outer v and go in on our arch sort of just create an arch effect here so it's more like a halo look i love a good halo eyeshadow i feel it makes your eyes look so much bigger um i'm using the creased shader brush and it works perfectly for this my eyelashes are getting in the way guys sorry about that i know it's annoying for you guys because it's individuals so i don't know if i'll get them done next time i love them but i feel like for makeup tutorials it's kind of hard to film because <laughs> you can't really see what i'm doing because they're in the way and then we're going to go back in with the shades ultimate tan and top to top and just go over the crease area blend those out so we've got our halo eyes i probably should have zoomed you in a bit there we go and probably a bit late now and i'm now going to get this flat so this is a smudging brush looks like that and we're gonna use bronze bay and vip vibes wait before we do that i think we should set our brush let's do the iconic prep and glow this isn't actually sponsored at all i just love iconic london products so much i work with them all the time but i love them and then to so mix those two together and then just pop that in the middle let's use more bronze bay actually mm, okay let's use copper me fancy and 24k gold basically all the gold shimmers i'm like mixing but like we've done it too dark i've decided instead of a halo look we're just gonna pop the shadow on the whole lid because i feel like the deep soul colour was too dark but I'm going to blend it all together and I feel like it will work well in a minute we're going to use the shade Champagne Chic and use this in our tear duct and brow bone the next thing I'm going to use is the roller liner by Benefit this is so good this is the only like pen liner i've used where it hasn't dried out and i use it every day so we're just gonna line our lash line nothing crazy just line it so i 
was thinking, I need a little bit more glam and I've risked it. <laughs> and I basically fanned out my individuals so they were really, really light. And normally I apply a thin layer of mascara on top of them, but instead I applied these, which are full glam, but when you sort of stick them together, they look really, really nice. So we've gone with this. I've got individuals on, and I also done it so you guys can relate as well. I'm using the Danny Beauty Luxe Collection in the style Slay. They're my favourite, one of my favourite lashes to date. I love them so much, and obviously they're by my bestie. I literally love her. So yeah, I'll leave these in the description box down below, as well as all the other products I have shown you guys. But yeah, not as bad as I thought. I kind of have to like pinch my individuals to mold in with the shape of the lashes. But I feel like me again, guys. I'm happy about it. So for blusher, what should we use? Um, let's have a look in my drawer. Duo Light Highlight by BH Cosmetics. Super affordable. Oh, look at that. We're going to try. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's more like highlight, isn't it? Right, let's try these two. Oh my god. Tap that off. I'm gonna just use the, oh. Mm. It's a bit bluey, guys, not gonna lie. What's gonna save this? Uh, let's try Rocketeer. It's like iridescent, I didn't even realize. Oh no. Right, let's get a powder brush. It's all right, guys. Look, there we go. Basically gone. We've done it, we've done it. <sighs> Right, let's use Rocketeer by Benefit. Let's just blush up this place. So I kind of wanted a bit more glow on my eyes. I feel like it's like matte shimmers. So I'm gonna get, I feel like this video is sponsored by Iconic guys, it really isn't. But for glow, Iconic London are the first brand that come to mind. So this is their beautiful, well, it's, it's like the pigment palette and I'm going to use the bottom middle shade and I sprayed my brush with their prep set and glow and I'm just going to dot, oh my god, yes, I'm happy about this. I'm just going to lightly dot this on my lid everywhere where I applied the shimmer before, basically. I'm so happy. Such a glowy, bronzy look. I love it. For highlight, I really feel like I should use different products. Okay, we're gonna mix highlight. We're gonna use a bit of Cirate and Iconic. I'm so sorry, but literally, when I think of glow, it's Iconic. I can't help myself. It's really not sponsored, guys, but you know, I love their products, so we're working with it. Right, I'm gonna use a little mini beauty blender. How cute. I put way too much on my hand, but we're gonna use the shade Original. What I do is I sort of massage it in like this, because you wanna blend the product in a little bit beforehand so then when you apply it it's not too intense and you can build it up so you just want to put it on the high points of your cheeks so you can sort of blend it go up here oh got glitter on my forehead it's all right it's a glowy look anyway i'm gonna go back in with the bronzing brush just to sort of blend the line okay for powder highlighter i'm gonna use the ciate london in the shade celestial it's like a pinky one but I love it. Actually, I'm going to use a fan brush. I think I prefer using a fan brush to apply it because yeah, I do. Oh, this is stunning. Oh my God, I can't even do. Lip time. I brought my lip liner drawer. The majority of it is, of course, a cappuccino. But for my babies, what we're going to do it's used a different colour because you guys are going to shout me in the comments if I don't. <laughs> right, I'm going to pick a few that I like. This is the MAC Well, which I think we're going to use. Everything's everywhere here. And yeah, we're going to line our lips first with it just to see. Oh my god, it snapped off. Okay, so I decided to use Well again, mixed with the Flora lipstick. I don't know if this is out yet. I'm gonna quickly check because I know I'm working with them beforehand, so I don't know. So this is the Flora lipstick in the shade Rosy Sand. I love this. 
they're coming out soon in a certain shop and I can't say what shop it is, but it's so exciting and I'll let you guys know as soon as. But I love this colour. It's like a nice pinky. Oh, matte. I'm feeling the matte with the eyes because it doesn't... Yeah, I like it. It's not too much. Okay, so to set our faces in place and add a bit more glow because, you know, we haven't had enough. We're going to use this again. I love it. Hold your breath. angels this is the end of the video i hope you guys have enjoyed this makeup look i can't go with this highlight i'm literally in love give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it also subscribe if you're new to my channel i love you baby so so much we are growing so much and it means so 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 much to me also come and say hi to me on instagram that would mean a lot to me as well we can talk to each other through dm follow you back, all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you babies in my next video. Bye.